Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Truth Be Told. Oh, Heavenly Father, thank you for waking us up today. You make a way where there is no way, my King. I just want to raise my voice to praise your voice, to tell you how much I love you, Lord, to appreciate you, Father God. Thank you for allowing me in your presence today, Lord. I pray that everyone listening to this video, Father God, is blessed beyond measure, Lord, that you touch them in such a way that they will never, ever, ever be the same again in the glorious, magnificent name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hey, y'all, I want to talk to you about giving up control. Ooh, that's an issue that a lot of us have, right? Uh, in Romans 8, 28, it says that, and we know that for those who love God, all things, not some, not a little, but all things work together for the good of those who are called according to his purpose. Hallelujah. Man, I want you to know that control is just another word for pride, y'all. You keep trying to control something. So basically, when you're trying to control something, you're telling God that you can do something better than he can. I mean, is if that's not arrogance and pride, I don't know what is. See, God has already told us so many places. It is written that he is the vine and we are the branches. Apart from him, we can do nothing. That he says that if we seek the, the it says, love thy, love thy Lord, thy God with all your heart and soul and lean not on your own understanding, but submit to him in all your ways and he will make your path straight. I could go on and on. There's so many scriptures that tell you that he's in control, that he is our guide. The Holy Spirit guides us, but we too stubborn. We think we know it all, right? We want to wander in the desert 40 years like the Israelites thinking that we're going to find it. And it's a seven day trip, y'all, but you've been wandering for how many years now? You know, the definition of insanity is to continue to do the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. It ain't going to work, man. I pray today that you surrender, that you just submit, that you come to with a humble heart, a repentant heart. That's all God is looking for. God is looking for a repentant heart to say, you know what? I can do nothing without you. I say it every single day. I cannot even take a step without my Jesus, honey. I can't even begin to think because I've proven beyond a shadow of a doubt that I think in the, I think in, in, in the natural. I'm a human being. I'm sin by nature. I mean, like naughty by nature, sin by nature. I can't think right without God. I need to think on purpose. I need to align my thoughts and agree with God. God daily for me to be productive. So I don't know about y'all, but see, I'm, I'm the first one to admit it. I invite God in every single day of my life because without him, ooh, I'm blind, girl. But with him, I can see all things. I can do all things because he is my strength. He is the very air that I breathe. And I pray that you start to recognize that, honey, the air you breathe in comes from him. It's a gift, honey. So you need to start recognizing where your power comes from, where your joy comes from. Stop trying to get it on your own because the joy, you're, the, the happiness and the stuff you're trying to obtain in the world is temporary. But what he's got for us is eternal, man. Ooh, I hope you get this into your, I pray that you get this into your, into your spirit. Lord, Father God, I just want to thank you for this moment that you gave us to, to seek your face, to hear your truth. I pray that it falls on fertile ground today and that it bears much fruit for your kingdom, my King. In Jesus name, yo. I am on giving up control road and steady avenue. Where are you at? Holla.